While the magnificence of the seven wonders of the natural world cannot be disputed, there exist on our planet strange places that defy explanation. Their mystery raises questions about how they evolved and it's as if they have emerged from another dimension. They seem to follow scientific laws that are unique to their existence, leaving scientists at a loss to explain their presence. Here are nine little-known curiosities of the natural world. The Boiling River Deep in the central Peruvian Amazon jungle, a four-mile-long tributary feeding into the river has earned the name La Bomba. The Shanai Timpishka, also known as La Bomba, is so hot that any hapless animal that enters, it is quickly bored alive. When an unwitting reptile or small mammal falls in, his eyes will cook first inside its skull. Soon the animal will suffer too much pain to enable it to swim to safety. As it drowns and water enters its mouth and lungs, it becomes cooked from the inside out. The bomba reaches temperatures nearly as high as 100 degrees centigrade, and scientists have no definitive explanation why. Usually, water that flows this hot is linked with a volcanic system, but this part of the river is located 700 kilometers away from the nearest volcano. A scientific phenomenon called the geothermal gradient dictates that the deeper we go into the earth, the hotter it becomes. At La Bamba temperatures, the water would have to be surging up from very deep down at an extremely fast rate. So the current theory is that boiling hot water from deep within the Earth's crust breaks through fault lines and heats up the river, creating a geothermal system unlike any other on the planet. But still, no one really knows for sure. The Petrifying Well In Nesborough in North Yorkshire is an eerie well with an ability that seems like something straight from a horror fiction story. The well, which was opened to the populace in 1630, is a location where water seeps down a cliff face that resembles a giant grinning skull. But its truly creepy feature is that anything placed under the water will transform into stone. The transition can take only weeks to months so that any object that can be left underneath the trickling water with the result that on returning it will be turned to stone. Visitors to the well have left their everyday possessions ranging from teddy bears to bicycles there, and every single item has acquired a stony exterior, like a statue. A Victorian top hat and ladies bonnet from the 1800s can still be seen both solid stone. In the 16th century, the well's water was thought to have healing properties, and visitors drank and washed in the flow. However, in later years, people believed that the well was magic or cursed by witchcraft as it was rumoured that the legendary prophetess Mother Shipton had been born in its cave. Many held the fearful belief that should they touch the well's water, they too would be turned to stone. The well is now known to be subject to an entirely natural process of evaporation and the depositing of mineral molecules by water with an extraordinary high mineral content, in the same way that stalactites are formed in caves. The water it's constantly overlaying everything it touches with a hard mineral casing. The astonishing phenomenon is the rapidity of this process, and our visitors are forbidden from drinking the water due to its high calcite levels. Mobile Cave In southeastern Romania, a cave has been discovered that was sealed and isolated from any light source for 5.5 million years, and has been found to have a completely toxic atmosphere unlike any in the world. Mouval K was uncovered in 1986 by workers investigating the area for the establishment of a power plant. Testing the ground for a safe place to build, they cracked open a narrow shaft that descends 20 meters into a series of tunnels, which led to the mysterious poison chamber. In the total blackness lies a lake of sulfuric water with a toxic stench of rotting eggs. The air there is heavily contaminated with hydrogen sulfide and 100 times normal air levels of carbon dioxide. The strangest part is that despite the complete lack of light and noxious atmosphere, the cave is home to a thriving ecosystem of life forms. There are unique spiders, snails, shrimp, 
water scorpions, leeches and earthworms with 33 of the 48 species discovered previously unknown to science. The water which sustains the life of the animals has been found to come from ancient spongy sandstone on the cave floor and has escaped the contamination of surrounding lakes following the Chernobyl nuclear accident. The creatures draw their nutrition from a strange floating layer of bacteria and have evolved without eyes or skin pigment and with extra long appendages so that they can feel their way around in the dark. A most curious find is a two million year old snail species which probably escaped the cold of the ice age by crawling underground. The Double Tree of Cozzorzo. In the countryside in Piedmonte, Italy, there is a very strange sight. High up, there is a cherry tree that looks very normal and healthy, except that it has grown stilt-like directly on top of a mulberry tree. The phenomenon is not completely unprecedented as Parasitic trees have implanted themselves on others before, but usually they have limited stunted growth and short lives before coming adrift. The double tree of Cozzorzo, however, comprises two full-size flowering trees, each casting its branches five metres across. Nobody has worked out how the double tree was created. Local residents theorise that a bird may have dropped a cherry seed in the top branches of the mulberry tree. The seed grew astonishingly long roots that were able to penetrate through the mulberry tree's hollow trunk and extend all the way down to solid ground below, enabling it to not only survive but thrive as a fully grown healthy tree. Gruna Sea Gruna Sea or Green Lake in Austria is surrounded by a forested park with meadows, hiking trails and benches, a serene landscape to visit on an autumn morning. However, if you are there in the spring, the ambience is quite different. In fact, scuba gear is required. The park is located near the Hochschwab Mountains, which become completely covered with snow in the winter, so much so that when the snow melts in spring, the lake becomes six times its usual depth. Grunacy doubles in size, intensifying its emerald green hue and drowning the park. Scuba divers swimming through it in the spring see surreal sights of benches and bridges under the water. Even some of the alpine flowers, which would usually only survive above the surface, can be seen blooming underwater. Eventually, halfway through the summer, the water begins to recede and the park emerges from below. The Beacon of Macaibo. In western Venezuela, over the place where the Catatombo River empties into Lake Marichaibo, there is an atmospheric phenomenon called the Everlasting Storm, also known as the Beacon of Macaibo. Starting at 7pm every evening, fierce lightning crashes over the water, continuing to rage for 10 hours throughout the night, 260 nights of the year. Several theories have been put forward to explain the constant deafening turbulence. Until recently, scientists believe that it may be due to uranium in the bedrock, although now think this is doubtful. The current view is complex, suggesting that the configuration of the mountain causes warm trade winds to collide with cold air from the Andes. The destabilization is then intensified by the quickly evaporating water below and methane from the adjacent oil field. However, no definitive conclusion has been arrived at while the mystery deepens, including one brief period in 2010 when it inexplicably ceased. Suddenly, the storm abated for no apparent reason and for a while was assumed to have ended. Then, after six weeks of silence, it powered up again and has been raging ever since. Shiragani Blue Pond On the Japanese island of Hokkaido, there is a lake that is unique on the planet. The water is a startling electric blue colour which shimmers and varies its shade when you view it from different angles. With the changing seasons, the water continues to vary its hue even more, morphing through the tones of vibrant turquoise to emerald green to cobalt blue. The lake was actually constructed by human hands following the 1988 eruption of nearby Mount Takachi in order to protect the town of B from volcanic mudflows. Local residents established a dam in the area 
as well as a reservoir where the water collected by the dam could be stored. Surprisingly, the water reserve started to change colour and took on an otherworldly ambience. Scientists hypothesise that the water's strange colour changes come from the accidental presence of aluminium hydroxide particles and other impurities that are commingled in the waters from the Shirohiga Falls. The particles capture blue light, reflecting back the sky's colour with an intensity which creates a far more vivid spectacle than is found in any body of water anywhere else on Earth. The Ringing Rocks of Pennsylvania A field full of strange echoey rocks sits atop a hill in Pennsylvania, with no obvious explanation for their existence. There is no raised cliff edge nearby so that they have not tumbled there in a landslide and the natives who were in the area before the arrival of European settlers believed the cluster to be a natural formation. Apart from questions as to why the rocks are there, their strangest feature is the sounds they make when you strike them. Clanging chimes of different notes with a metallic quality almost like the symbol of a drum kit. There are various theories, but no one is sure why they emit these strange tones. Someone investigating them found out that an individual rock will let out a low frequency tone that can't be detected by human ears. However, when the rocks are put together, the tones interact, collectively creating the sound that we actually hear. To illustrate this unique auditory phenomenon, a group of percussionists called Square Peg Round Hole have put together musical compositions based around the rocks. Kawa Ijen. On the island of Java in Indonesia, there is a sulphur mine built into the side of a volcano, and when the miners turn up for work at night, they turn off their lights. They don't need them because their path is illuminated by the eerie, iridescent blue liquid flowing down the side like lava. Kawa Ijen is often inaccurately described as a volcano with blue lava, Although scientists now know the blue ooze isn't really unusual lava, it's formed by the combustion of sulfuric gases. The gases inside heat up, ignite and explode out of the volcano, spouting blue flames up to 5 metres into the air. The gases then condense into liquid sulphur, which erupts down the mountain slopes like bursts of flowing neon blue lava. The burning occurs day and night, but is visible only in darkness. All the sulphur in the air makes the environment toxic, and visiting researchers and photographers wear gas masks to protect their health. Unfortunately, there are no such measures for the miners, who inhale the toxic fumes while labouring in the light of the sinister pale blue glow, in a workplace unlike any other in the world.